Hi guys, uh, in previous video uh, I show you how to create a Windows application for calling a function app which was protected by uh, Azure AD account. Uh, in this video I just want to quickly show you how easy it is to change that code and call a graph API method for reading a user profile. Uh, so let's do this. Uh, this is the code that worked on that uh, in the previous video. If you want to know more about it, just feel free to watch the previous video. I don't want to explain the previous stuff in this video, uh, but I'll add the previous video link in, the, in this video description as well. So uh, what we want to do is changing this Windows application to call a graph API and read a user profile and then display that. Uh, let's start with the constants file. The constant file, we had a client ID and tenant ID, which was for a app registration that we created in the Azure. Uh, we can use the same client ID and tenant ID, so I'm not gonna change that, but you can create a, a different app registration if you like. Uh, in this case, I just want to change the scope of the uh, code. So I just remove this part. Let's just comment it out. Let's see with this one. Uh, the scope of uh, our token was a API in previous video, which was uh, the function app method but now we want to call a graph api method so we change the scope to uh, this url which is for the graph api uh, we add a new constant here and put a username uh, this is a username of account that we want to read the user profile for that just put it in the constant here but you can read it from uh, UI or uh, just hard coded somewhere. Well, for this example, I just hard coded as a constant here. Let's save this here. Go to the uh, form uh, backend code. We have a get access token method, which is getting the access token, and then we've got a call function app uh, method, which is calling the function app using that access token as a bearer token. But in this video, what we want to do is getting the access token and calling graph API. So I've got a new method. To make this video quicker, I just copy and paste the code. Uh, I created a new uh, uh, method here called get user profile. Uh, it gets the access token and then uh, returns, not returning, it's showing the uh, user profile given name for a specific user. So I just explained this piece of code to you um, and then change the rest of the code. Uh, I have a graph API. Uh, URL for reading a user profile, which is this part. And then I've added the username that I added in the constant file. Uh, at the end of the URL, I'm creating a uh, HTTP request message. It should be a GET request, pass the URL. Then we need to add uh, a, a bearer token to the uh, request message headers and uh, set the access token value for that bearer token. Uh, then we set the API method timeout to 60 seconds and uh, send uh, async is sending that HTTP request to the uh, defined URL. Uh, when we get the result, we store it in this result variable and we read the content of the result as a string and a story in return content. If the status code of returned result is okay, 
we deserialize the uh, content and we just display the uh, given name so it's returning a bunch of different attributes for the user profile uh, of this user uh, but for this example i just want to show the given name in the message box and if there is any uh, arrow we just display the arrow in the message box as well uh, the get access token method doesn't change uh, it's the same piece of code that we wrote for the previous uh, example uh, the only change for the get access token is using different scope for calling a function app method which is protected by AD account we set the scope to uh, function app scope uh, for calling graph API we just set the scope to the graph API as I did earlier so it's fine here go to the button click I just copy this comment it out paste it instead of calling call function API just call get user profile uh, what this line of code does is calling get access token and get the access token uh, from this method and then pass it to the get user profile method and then get user profile will use that access token as a bearer token and call the graph API method for reading the user profile and then display the given name of that user so let's run the uh, code and see how it works. Save it. Just press Ctrl F5. By clicking this button, a browser window pops up. And it's asking for our username and password. I just pause the video to put my username and password in, and then I'll resume the video. All right, I just put my username and password in, and uh, after clicking sign in, I see this uh, authentication complete message. We can close this browser window. And as you see, we've got a message box here, which is displaying the access token to us. Just put that there to make sure that we are getting the access token. So if I click I OK. Oh, next message box comes up, which is displaying the uh, given name of that uh, user email address so we read the uh, user profile using graph API and we are displaying the uh, user given name in a message box so as you see it works perfectly fine and it's very easy to use the same code for calling a graph API or for calling a, a protected uh, Azure function method. Thanks for watching this video. If this video was useful. Please uh, like and subscribe so uh, you support us and we can uh, create more video for you. Thanks for watching again. Bye.